Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Join us each and every week as we travel across the Midwest filming 52 new hunting and fishing shows a year. Sponsored by Bartline Barrels, Green Bay Trophy Fishing, Karsten, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Delco, Guillotine, Kamik Law Offices, Comalong, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supply, Norm's A, Vexlar, Warrior Boats, Wings Over Wisconsin, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Hey, welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. I'll tell you what, this week we've got an exciting show. We're fishing with our good friends Tracy and Luann Bartline from Bartline Barrels, and we're gonna do a little bit of walleye fishing. Hey, it's a special day for them. It's their anniversary, and believe it or not, they wanna spend their day with me. It's hard to believe because most of the time, my wife doesn't even wanna spend our anniversary with me. So stay tuned, let's see what happens this week on Larry Smith Outdoors. It is, the, it's the Fox River. It's not the mighty Oshkosh River. It will be. Oh, shoot. You know what that means? I gotta go buy the first beer. Darn it. I don't drink beer. <laughs> you have to buy a cocktail. Better fish, Lynn. Yep, there, that's a nice beer. Got him? Right, got him. Nice oh. job. You know, see how fast I was with you with that net now? Yes. Right? Yes, you did an awesome job. <laughs> Got it? Yep. All right. You want to hold that one up? I'll get that. Nice job, boy. Now, I just changed you over to that crawler yep. and a lighter jig, and yep. you were just dragging it. Now, yep. that's a good fish. Nice fish. You want to hold that one? All right. Nice job. See this? I got him tight. There we go. Nice job, last night For an hour and a half. Wow. Yep, not too bad. No, he's right below the bridge there somewhere. Well, He's not giving us any credit on it at all. Not too bad. How are you doing, Lance? Good, buddy. Hey, we were all kind of wondering, how did they go the other night? Give you that idea. Oh, this is lies because you look all like tan and looking. You're glowing right now. I feel like you had a pretty good night last night. It went well, Connor. There you go. That's what we want to hear. All right, you're welcome. Yep. You know, hey, just, I'm surprised. You should probably go up in that pack of boats and drift through there because there has been a little bit of, con and has there not been, there yeah. has been a little conversation about, hey, how's Lance's dating go? Oh, boy. First question I asked was, what did you have dating last night? Right. Right. I think we watch too much TV. Anything yet? One small bird. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, I know it. And off the bottom, that plastic, and uh, that fish just crushed that bait. Yeah. Whoa. That's a decent fish. And again, I went back to the plastic. The first pass, I had plastics on, and uh, I caught two. And then for some reason, I saw a lot of people catch them on minnows and took it off. And kind of like that. Hey, and you said that I wasn't going to catch a fish today, Connor, right? To believe that. But that's a millennial <laughs> thing. Well, it's the last pass. If, you know, if we don't put a fish in that live well or in the cooler, we're going somewhere else. I know I said that like three passes ago, but this is the last pass. Tell you what, there's not much happening here today, right now, so we're going to pull the boat out of the water and uh, head out to another spot. I think a lot of it's got to do with the wind direction. It's kind of blowing upriver, slowing that current down a little bit. 
And uh, again, when you see how many people are out here, what, 50 boats are here, seeing three fish caught. So I know when the, it's time to go. Right? Not like a millennial. He would have sat here all day. Right? <laughs> Creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fishability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety than the V208 from Warrior Boats. Dalco, far and away the nation's leading boat cover manufacturer, precisely fit for a large variety of OEM makes and models. Dalco Premium Covers are the boating equivalent of a hand-tailored suit. Not only are Dalco Covers the best fitting and best quality, they include unique features like our polis cover lift system and ratchet attachment system, making them the easiest and fastest covers to install and remove. Visit DalcoMarine.com for more information on how to order. Use promo code LARRY10 to receive a 10% discount today. What? We switched gears and we were up in Winnicani and there was a few guys that caught fish up there, but we could not put it together. So, you know what? We jumped in the truck and headed to Oshkosh and just dropped in here. Ooh. Okay, she's coming in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lloyd, just about another three and a half inches a little to your, to your right. Right? 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 Okay. Your minnow's even good yet. Good. Good job. Fling him right in. Oh my god. Fling him right in. Nice fish. There you go. What about? Oh. <laughs> Thanks for that advice, Larry. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Oh, you don't even need a net, Louie. Nice job. First one I brought got hey, into the hey, boat. Let's look at more pitches. <laughs> Right, you got any more pictures on your phone? Right? She's like, boys. Here, I'll help you. Thank you. The first one, one in of the year. Larry, you want this one in the Yeah, uh, I'll box? grab her a middle. Happy anniversary. Right. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Suck that <laughs> one. <laughs> Woohoo! It's all over now, Grace. Killer Instinct is here. You can slap Trigger Man too. Oh, there you go. Nice job. There we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sorry. Little guy. We'll let him go. Yeah, yep. little guy. Thank you. I got it. Yeah. A little better. Yep. There's a decent one. Nice job. Now, were you just dragging that? Just dragging it. Yep, that's what I thought on a crawler. Well done. How hard? How far do I have to hold him out so he looks like he's like right? Looks like a shark. Right. right. Does it? Oh, ten pounds. Are you looking to catch the walleye of a lifetime? Then have Larry and company guide you to your trophy on the Bay of Green Bay and its surrounding tributaries. Whether it be the Peshtigo, the Menominee, the Oconto, or the Bay itself, our team has the knowledge and experience to hook you up with the fish of a lifetime on this world-class fishery. Book your trip for giant Green Bay walleyes today. 
Call Larry Smith Outdoors at 920-361-4996 for more information. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. The guillotine, the most versatile digging and hook setting system the fishing industry has ever seen. Programmed and customized digging and hook setting techniques. Bringing innovative remote control technology to the fishing world. This all purpose tool will change the way you fish. The guillotine, made by Rut Finn. Mr. Marine is proud to offer the best team to serve you and your boat related needs. In 31 years of business in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, our talented and trained sales and service team members have won 12 Mercury Customer Satisfaction Awards. Our staff is passionate about boats, fishing, and the outdoors. They take pride in making sure your experience is positive and ensure you're on the water as soon and as often as possible. Come into the store and check out our boat inventory that feature top brands like Warrior and Mercury or shop online at MrMarineInc.com. Kin Sports Fishing is Wisconsin's premier charter fishing destination. Offering two unique salmon fishing locations and operating 11 large tournament rigged boats seven days a week. We pride ourselves in providing the best salmon fishing experience at the most reasonable rates. In addition, we own and operate 12 fully furnished luxury lakefront condominiums for your exclusive use. Our entire staff is fully trained, licensed, and insured. And they're all eager to ensure you have the most successful trip possible. Hey, thanks again, Tracy and Luann, for spending their special day with me. We had an awesome time, caught a lot of walleyes. And now we're going to take a little trip and visit their factory, the Bartline Barrel Factory, and see actually how a barrel is built. So stay tuned. Today, we we're doing something a little bit different, and we we're up at Bartline Barrels, and we're with Frank. Hey, Frank, hey, I'll nice tell you what, you. a lot of people want to know what is Bartline Barrels, and what do you guys do here? And obviously, you build barrels, but why are your barrels so much superior than others? Well, we, um, there are several different methods of rifling barrels. There's button rifling, hammer forging, um, broach cutting, single point cut, which is what we do. And there might be, there's a couple minor ones in there also. Uh, single point cut rifling is the most stress-free way to rifle a barrel. The barrels typically last longer too because we don't work hard in the bores versus some other methods. Okay. So that's kind of the short version and we can kind of go through the shop to, of how the stuff is made and some of the pros and cons of stuff too. That's awesome. This is how it starts out. Basically it starts out as the, uh, just the bar form. Okay. That's how the steel comes in. It comes in uh, heat treated and double stress relieved. And um, we saw it to length as whatever we need for the orders. Now when you're looking at a, a piece of steel like this, what would a barrel like this be for? Um, we're basically a custom barrel maker, but we make everything from uh, bulk gun barrels for competition guns. Um, and we also make ammunition test barrels. So in some cases, the really big stuff like that would be for an ammunition test barrel. Okay. A pressure and velocity barrel. The average, the average person never sees one of those. Right. We make them for bullet makers, powder manufacturers, ammunition makers, where they have to physically test the ammunition that they're making or the components. Okay. And what's the reason for that? Uh, because all of your ammunition's got to be loaded to a, a safe working pressure. And um, they have to have a way to test it. Okay. So there's an industry standard for a given caliber like a 30 odd six. There's a given um, standard for the bore and groove dimensions, the groove width, the twist, and the chamber. Okay. And then you can put a pressure port and stuff into them and that way they can test the ammunition when they're making it. Interesting. You know, I told you it was gonna be a learning experience today, didn't I? Um, after the steel is cut, typically the blanks might be either rough turned or not, depending on what the order requires, and then they get drilled. Okay. And this is where we do all the drilling. This is what puts the initial hole down the barrel. And how long does this process take to drill a hole? On average, 30 minutes a barrel. Okay. On average. The drill feeds, the barrel spins. So this is that piece of steel that you just showed that we us cut, over that, there. That we would have cut prior to this, yeah. On average, these are gonna run somewhere around 1,700 RPM up to over 4,000 RPM, depending on the caliber. Okay. 
So typically after the blanks are drilled, sometimes they're rough turned, sometimes they're not, but either way they get finished turned. This is what's happening right now. So the finished turning, he's putting the physical shape on the outside of the barrel. Whatever the customer needs, they all vary. So how many different shapes is there for a barrel? It's endless. I mean, sporter contours, match rifle contours, ammunition test barrels, almost whatever you want to dream up. Custom stuff, totally custom stuff. Okay. So Frank, what's the next process that we have here? Well, what does this machine actually after do? After the barrels are contoured, they've been drilled already, they're drilled undersized, now we ream it. Okay. So the reamer will pull through the barrel, the reamer spins, the barrel does not. It's locked in place. Locked in place. The table moves and that's how the reamer gets pulled through. It'll foul the hole. You can't push it because it'll want to cut its own hole and you'll have size uniformity problems. So going back to that 30 cal with a 292 drill, we're going to ream it to about 299.6. So we about four tenths under finished four size. So we're getting there, we're getting closer. You're getting closer. Right. So what Andy's doing here, Andy, Andy's honing the barrel after reaming. Okay. This is going to give you a nicer finish than what the reamer gave you. Now is this the final process as far as the, the, the barrel? No. It's not? No. Okay. This takes about roughly about 10 minutes, you say. We used to do a lot of this by hand, but we actually tested the prototype machine for Sun and Hone, and what we found was by having the machine do it, we get a more consistent size and finish. Okay. We're getting a human error out of it. So that's what this machine is doing. This is this is going to take that, if we read it to a 299.6 on a 30 cal, he's going to take that 4 tenths up and you take it up to 300. This will give you a nicer finish and um, it's, a, it's a one more step in the process before rifling. Okay. And it's keeping Andy from getting carpal tunnel too, right? That's right. Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier. Green Bay Trophy Fishing, your number one guide service for catching giant smallmouth bass and huge walleyes. Specializing in Green Bay, Sturgeon Bay, and Washington Island using various tactics, jigging, trolling, and drifting with live bait, and staying on the hottest bites. Look at the size of that smallmouth. Call Captain Lonnie Goman to book your Green Bay fishing adventure. We are cooking up some new recipes with the Jones family. What do you got for us, buddy? Well, well first of all, I want to use you. How are you doing, Sean? Good. Good to see you, Shotgun. <laughs> so today what we're going to do is we've got a, got some walleye provided by you. Thank you very much. Yeah, because the other guy I work with doesn't hand me any, so i got to catch my own. Well, you know, sometimes you got to work for eating, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a fact. So, uh, but we're going to do a really simple recipe today with the walleye and uh, Jones Cherrywood smoked bacon. This uh, is the thick cut? That is the thick cut right there. All right. Uh, That's your specialty, right? That is the specialty. So the <laughs> bacon is dry aged for uh, anywhere from seven to ten days. It helps to concentrate the flavor. Yep. Um, 
So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a little bit of honey, and actually this honey is right from right here on the farm. You got bees hives here too? We do indeed. You gotta take care of them? I don't, I don't. Uh, what do I mean? You can't do that too, besides do all that other stuff here? <laughs> okay, how long did the bacon go in okay, for? Okay, so what we did with the bacon there is we pre-cooked it, so that was in there for uh, about 10 minutes at 350. Perfect. Okay. Most so, people cook it in a frying pan. This is the way to cook it. That's the way I do it. It is. If you can get the parchment paper yep. and, and put it on there, it makes cleanup super easy. Yep. And you can put it in there, set the timer. You don't have to sit there and gotcha. fuss with it and watch it. So. Um, is this your own special mustard? So out? no, this is uh, this is Malay mustard, but you can use any whole grain mustard okay. you want. So what we did, we just put a little bit of the honey on there, and then we're going to spread some of the mustard. Do you have this out here in the front? We do not have this Good. actually on hand. You got to come right to your house to get it. Then. You do, you do. <laughs> Be knocking your door, Sean. I want some of that mustard for this recipe. That's right. It's like a cup of sugar, but only come back <laughs> once, right? So, I got you. And then we're going to take, after we put the mustard on there and the honey, we'll take yes. the bacon. Yeah. We'll put the slice of bacon right on top, just like this. So the hardest part of this recipe is probably getting the mustard from your house. You got it. And getting the walleye from Smith. That mm -hmm. was the second exactly. hardest part. Exactly. All right. So uh, I don't know which one's going to be harder, walleye <laughs> or mustard, but uh, you know. All right, let's shove this in the oven. So we're going to put it into a 350 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes or until the bacon is crispy and the walleye is done. So is that convection? That's what the air is This for? is convection right here. Okay. Um, if you use a traditional oven like you will at home, it'll take a little bit longer, probably uh, 15 to 18 minutes because the air circulating in there yep. uh, helps speed up the cooking. So people at home, if you don't have a convention, convection oven, that's what it is. The air rotates the heat around and makes everything cook faster. That's right. So And more evenly. So how long? Uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, 10, 15 minutes to pull and see what we got. All right. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's what you want. Nice crisp There bacon. we go. The honey makes a glaze on the outside of it, looks like. It does. A little bit of the honey and the mustard go really well together, especially with the bacon. The thick cut, center cut bacon of Jones's. That's right. Dry aged. Let me get this out of your way. Get in here. Let's go. Come All on. All right. Hey, look who's here. Hey. The two big cheeses. Come on in and try <laughs> something. Well, I'll tell you what, it looks awful good. Let's see. Yeah, and it mm, smells good I too. Smell Have you had any of that bacon yet? Yeah? That is my all time favorite Jones product. All right, let's try it. All you, guys are the, you guys are the samplers. Ladies first. Cherry wants smoking. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Walleye supply from Lake Winnebago. Who caught that walleye? What do you Sean? think, Sean? You think they'll like it or what? I think they will. I gotta tell you, you put Jones bacon on anything, it'll taste good. Delicious. <laughs> Hi. Two thumbs up. Go for it. Okay, prep time was 10 minutes maybe? At the most, 10 minutes. And this is an easy oh. weeknight meal, and you can throw it right in the oven yep. or on the grill, and um, it's just delicious and easy. Oh. Sean, thanks for letting me come in today. Thanks, Chef. Let's make some more stuff for you guys. All right. <laughs> I'm hey! Yeah. <laughs> there goes our plan. <laughs> Must have been good. There goes our stuff. See ya. We're rifling the barrel. So the cutting tool, you can tell the rod is spinning. That's the twist. Right. And it only cuts one groove at a time. We're only cutting about a tenth of a thou per pass. So if each groove is four thousandths deep, each groove will get cut 40 times. So if it's a five groove barrel, you're gonna have, you're gonna have about 200 passes on this one barrel alone. And that takes about typically how long? Average, let's say two hours. Okay, so this is the longest process right here. This is the longest here. operation. Yep. So in this particular barrel, it's a five groove barrel. It's on groove number three right now. And he is cutting a nine and a half twist. You know, let's tell everybody at home what is a groove, and, and what's the difference between having one groove or, or ten grooves. The number of grooves. What does it do for the accuracy? As far as accuracy, I'll tell you, that it doesn't do anything for okay. accuracy. A lot of people argue that. I'm going to tell you, for the most part, the style and number of grooves don't mean nothing. Um, there's different grooves and stuff for different reasons. But your grooves, when you cut those grooves in there, on like a 308 barrel, the grooves will be 308, your bullets are 308 in diameter. So the lands that stick up, that's what drives the bullet. 
That's what puts a twist on the bullet. That's what gives the bullet stability okay. when it comes out of the gun. So that's what we're doing here. We're physically cutting the grooves into the barrel right now. It's gonna find home. It's gonna go in. That little light just came oh, on. Yep, that raised it. the tool. And now it repeats mm. the process. Pearl's rifle, the last thing that gets done, it gets finished last. Okay, it's now this is the final process? Final process. Okay. So it's basically, this gives you the final polish on the inside of the barrel. It's not meant to change size. It will change the tenth or two, but it's meant to, for a polish. They'll cast a lead lap, let it cool. If you look on here real closely, you'll see lands and grooves. So this, yep, is, this, is, a, this is a mirror image of the board. Every barrel's an individual, so every barrel gets its own lap cast. They'll put, they'll put lapping compound on it. They'll find the rifling timing. They'll bring it back. How many times will they do this process? Um, roughly 40 to 50 strokes. Okay. The last few strokes, they just put oil on it. Um, when they pull it out, they'll clean it out in the solvent bucket. After they clean it out, they'll, um, they stamp all the information on the breech end. So in this case, there's a serial number, the twist, bore and groove size, our name, and the number of grooves. Okay. If it's a four groove, it'll have a four, if it's a six, it'll have six, so on and so forth. So this barrel's all ready to ship This barrel's all ready to go to the customer, but then you'll need dirt gunsmith, or somebody to thread chamber and put it on the gun for them, set the head space and stuff. Okay. And how long does that process take? Depends on how good you are. Really? Okay. I would say on average, if you have all the tools in front of you, about an hour. It can take longer, but about an hour. Okay. Hey, Tracy, I'll tell you what, thanks for letting us come into your shop today, and thanks for your sponsorship with Larry Smith Outdoors. You know, the other day, we certainly had a lot of fun with you and Luann fishing oh, out yeah. there on the Fox River. Oh, yeah. And uh, I honestly think that she did outfish both of us. Oh, well, I think she did. Right? She lost a few of them too, but it was a good time. That was. It's also nice to hang out with Larry today to see he's got a brand new shirt on, no fish guts or nothing on <laughs> it. <laughs> That's unusual, isn't it? I tried to get some of that oil from one of the machines, I mean, just to make it look natural, but I, st I was a little bit too far away. Hey, Trace, thanks again. You know Thank you. what? It was a pleasure. And thanks, everybody, for joining us this week on Larry Smith Outdoors. And remember, like I always say, what a great day to be alive. We certainly enjoyed our tour through the Bartline Barrel Factory today. Hey, I can understand why 83% of the top shooters in the world shoot Bartline Barrels. When you talk about ingenuity, certainly seen it at its finest today. And thanks again to Tracy and Luann for inviting us into the factory and spending their anniversary with us. Hey, you know what, like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. But no, they're, they're so caliber specific, number of grooves, the type of reamer that's being used, the twist rate, you, you can't predict it. Thank you for a bar. Right, I was gonna say. <laughs>